wizards, witches, and muggles. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. So today is a very exciting video because as you can see, I have got 10 new ones. That's right. These are all by Noble Collection and these 10 in particular are the brand new Fantastic Beasts, the Crimes of Grindelwald character ones. I've got all 10 in their boxes and I thought it would be really fun to have a look at them in a little bit more detail. So that's what we're going to do today. I would love to hear your thoughts down below after you've seen them all and let me know which is your favorite one from today's video. So if you're brand new to my channel, hello, welcome. Don't forget you can click the subscribe button if you'd like to become part of our weird magical online family. But let's go because we have got 10 brand new ones to get through. <laughs> Okay then, so I feel like I should start with Newt Scamander's wand himself and his is here in a very beautiful kind of tearly turquoise box and it does indeed say Fantastic Beasts and where to find them on there and on each end it does indeed say Newt Scamander. I love these boxes, they really are beautiful. These are the collector's boxes and when you open them inside you're actually greeted by this beautiful kind of magical material that is protecting and covering the wand. So here it is, this is Newt Scamander's wand. A lot of you would have probably seen this one already, but I didn't have the box until now. So here it is. This is actually one of my favorite ones because it's more rustic looking and I love the silver in there. I think it's meant to be mother of pearl and it's just a really nice shape and Newt is such a good character and I like that his wand kind of reflects the nature in his life. I'm pretty sure that's what it's meant to be and there's kind of gnaw marks on there as well from I'm assuming the beast, correct me if I'm wrong. But either way, so this is Newt's commander's wand. It's definitely a favorite of mine. I have two of these now and yeah, it's just a really beautiful, beautiful wand. But this is definitely one that you have already seen. So let's move on to some brand new ones. Now I am going to save my favorite until last and that is this one in this yellow box. And this is the Albus Dumbledore wand from when he was younger. So that's going to be the finale. Let's have a look at Lita Lestrange's wand. So it comes in a black box and it says Lita Lestrange on both ends of the wand box. And when you open it on up, you're met with some more of that magical material. So here it is. Now her wand is actually really beautiful and I have held the actual Lita Lestrange wand when I went to New York on a trip. And this one is quite a good replica. The actual one has metal on it, but this isn't. I believe these are all made out of resin of some sort, but this is her wand. It's kind of twisty. It reminds me of one of those twisty flump marshmallows. And then it has these really intricate kind of swirl details at the tip and here of the handle. And they're really beautiful and silver and really pretty. And yeah, it's a beautiful wand. It's definitely gorgeous and I enjoy it a lot. I really do like this one. And again, really comfortable to ha handle. And oh, I cannot wait to see the new characters because whilst I'm filming this video, I have not seen the film yet. Future Cherry is in for a treat, I'm sure. So yeah, this is her wand. I personally really enjoy that and I think she's gonna become a really cool character. Next up, let's have a look at Nicholas Flamel's wand. Now I have shown you this in another video and I do have a duplicate to this wand. So I am gonna be doing a giveaway. So make sure that you stick around to the end of this video because I will be giving away a brand new Nicholas Flamel Fantastic Beast wand to one lucky viewer. So let's have a look. It's in a maroon box and it says Nicholas Flamel on both ends and his wand is actually gorgeous. I first saw his wand and first got his wand in September and I was just like wow it's absolutely stunning. Now for those of you who haven't seen it this is definitely one of my favorites because it has a kind of gold base to the handle and it's almost like a horn. Now this doesn't look very comfortable to hold but it's not actually that bad if you hold it with the horn kind of around that part of your hand and I guess you could put your thumb in there. It does feel good to hold if you hold it in the right position but yeah so the actual wand itself is brown wood and it's really kind of elegant 
I think that's the best way to describe Nicholas Flamel's wand and it definitely has this kind of aged horn on it which definitely interests me. I'd love to know more information about the end of Nicholas's wand. Uh, so yeah, this is definitely a favourite. Next up, I think we should have a look at a new character's wand and this is called Skender. The box is green. Now from what I know, Skender is the ringmaster of Circus Arcanus, which is a circus which we'll be seeing in the new film. And I really like this wand. I think it's really, really fun. And it's definitely unusual, but it has a big circus vibe to it, which you will see in just a moment. So here we go. This is Skender's wand, and it really does look like a circus wand. You've got the big red ball on the end, and then it has this kind of circusy detailing around the handle, and it has a gold ring there as well. I think this is really unusual. I mean, it kind of looks like a big matchstick as well, but I think this is really fun, and I definitely think they captured the whole circus vibe in this wand. It's a lot chunkier at the end than a lot of wands but I think it's really fun and I can't wait to see more of this character. I just think it's really cool. It doesn't necessarily look magical I don't think but I just really like it. I'm really excited about this character to see how he plays out. And another note about Skender's wand, I also find the colour quite interesting. It's kind of like this khaki green. We don't normally get fully coloured ones. They're normally quite neutral, so like blacks, greys, browns, uh, but this one is a kind of grey green colour, almost like this box if you like. Uh, yeah, really excited about that one. I think it's really, really pretty. I'd love to know your thoughts down below. Now, we've had a look at Newt Scamander's wand, but we haven't looked at his brother's wand. That's right, we're going to be seeing his brother, who I have met in real life, Callum Turner. He's a very beautiful man. Uh, we're going to be looking at Theseus Scamander's wand next. So this comes in a kind of raspberry pink box, and it says Theseus Scamander on both of the ends, and... Oh, He's got a really pretty, kind of classy gentleman's wand. It's really, really classy. So inside, here is Theseus's wand. Now, the reason I love this is because it's so elegant and it's kind of like, um, what would you call this? Like tortoise shell? Like, it's like a marble kind of texture and it's really pretty and I love the gold end which is nice and flat and there's also another gold band here and his is brown but how beautiful is the handle of Theseus's wand I just think it's really classy and very comfortable again but yeah I this is definitely one of my favorites from the new one so just think it's really really beautiful to look at I love all the colors it's kind of oranges blacks and golds yeah, really classy and I really, really enjoy it. Yes, I can't wait to display all of these ones. I'm gonna have a lot of fun with it. So that's Theseus's. I'm so looking forward to seeing his character on, on the screen, on the big screen and yeah. Really excited about all of these characters to be honest. The next one that we're going to look at is this one here. Okay, so this wand is a character wand for someone called Abernathy Abernathy. Abernathy, I think that's how you pronounce it. Now, the most that I know about this character, and we had seen him in the first one, if I'm not mistaken, he works for Makusa, the Magical Congress of the United States of America, and he's an American wizard, and I'm pretty sure he eventually becomes a follower of Grindelwald, but we will see in the new film. So this is his wand, and it comes in a black box, and inside, when you open it on up, it looks like this. This is another fun wand. It's quite simple, which, you know, I like the understated pieces. And he has a very twisty wand handle. Again, I really like the twists that they've been incorporating in these brand new ones. He has a kind of round black end of his wand handle and then there's this kind of aged silver part at the base of the handle and it's a dark brown colour. So yeah, this is Abernathy's wand. I really hope I'm pronouncing his name right. So yeah, that is another character wand. 
We've still got a lot of ones to get through, so let's have a look at the others. Okay, I only have four more ones left to show you as we've already had a look at Newt's wand. So let's have a look at this one. So this is a brand new character wand and it is in a gray box and it's of a character called Spielman. Now, I'll be honest, I don't know much about this character and I have had a little look and apparently he's the head of incarceration at the International Confederation of Wizards and he was a German wizard and he participated in the attempted transfer of Gellert Grindelwald. Maybe some spoilers there, but hopefully not. So here is his wand and it's in a gray box as previously mentioned, if I can open his wand box. Yep, here we go. So his wand actually is really interesting and I will tell you why. It's got to do with the shape of it. So here is Spielman's wand. It's actually really beautiful and it reminds me of a magical castle. It's kind of like a castle turret or at least that's what it reminds me of. So here it is. Now the wonderful thing about this wand is that the end is square it is not round, it is definitely squared. And if you put it like that, it really does look like the top of a castle. I'm not sure if it was meant to be designed that way. So this is pretty, it's got some metal parts through this and the rest of it kind of looks like bone. It's not bone, obviously, but I would love to know, oh, I really want to know the stories behind each of these ones. Uh, hopefully we will eventually find out. It has four sections which are divided by metal and then there are the kind of dots in each side, metal dots, and I think it's really beautiful. It's a black wand, but this is definitely really unique. When I first saw this, I was like, wow, this is a really unique crazy wand because it's square. I just, I'd never seen anything like this. I have a lot of wands now and this definitely was kind of I don't know, it was really interesting to me when I first saw it. What do you guys think of this wand? Okay, so I want to now discuss this one. And this is of a brand new character, I believe, and he's called Yusuf Kama or Kama. Now, I have looked him up because I'm not really familiar with this character yet because he's from the Crimes of Grindelwald. And I don't really want to say too much because I'm pretty sure there's spoilers. So it says that he's a French African wizard and he claimed to be the last male in his pure blood family line and there is a few little things that are spoilers so I'm not going to go into it but you can look it up if you want to so his wand I cannot actually remember what his wand looks like to be honest so let's discover it together so here it is this is Yusef's wand it's actually really pretty again it's really kind of like classy so it's brown down the wand and then it has a really nice kind of faux metal part to the handle of the wand here which I personally really enjoy that part and then there is this bit with some little kind of rings around the center of the handle and the end is made to look like some really kind of worn down rustic metal and I think that's nice it actually feels really nice as well so that's his wand and I had never seen this before so it's really nice to see these up close I think they're really really beautifully made and they are beautiful now I have held a lot of the real ones when I saw them in New York and these are equally as good obviously they're not made with metals and stuff but they do look just as good as the real ones <sighs> okay, we've got two left and it, <laughs> I've saved the best till last. We have got Albus Dumbledore and Gellert Grindelwald. Now, I am going to talk about Gellert Grindelwald's first because it is a wand that you will have seen a million times, but mostly you would recognise this as Dumbledore's wand or the Elder Wand. So here it is. This is being sold as Gellert Grindelwald's wand because it is his wand in the new films and yeah so I have so many of these I think I have three or four elder ones now but yeah we have this one I'm not going to show you too much because you would have all seen it I really do like it I love all the details I love the round bits that go throughout it I love the runes and the kind of patterns around the middle of it and it's one of my longest ones in my collection so there you go that is Gellert Grindelwald's wand from the new character ones and that leaves us with my favorite wand from this entire new collection it's albus's wand so it's in a mustard yellow box which i love it's one of my favorite colors 
<sighs> now this one arrived later than the others because it got released late. I'm assuming it was a lot more difficult to make. So I'm going to show you it in its box. This is his wand. And it's like no other wand I've ever seen. And I think it's stunning. So here it is. This is Albus Dumbledore's wand. Now can you see how kind of like the wood has kind of been twisted and the interesting thing about this wand is that it doesn't have a metal core so do be careful if you buy this wand it is not as sturdy as a lot of the others that have a metal core uh it's it's beautiful i don't know what to say about it the handle now something special about this wand is unlike the others that they're just painted to look metal this one isn't. This is actually metal on the end and around here, around the neck of the handle. So that surprised me because they're not normally different materials. They're normally all made out of the same thing and then painted to look like different things. So on the end of Albus's wand, there is a symbol, which I'm not sure what it means. Uh, I think it's a rune. And then there's some around the handle as well. There are four different symbols around the handle. I'm definitely gonna have to research into that. But this is my favorite because it's metal, it feels a lot more kind of real. Does that sound silly? But yeah, so it's really beautiful. And I'm just so pleased that I have this one in my collection. Albus Dumbledore, he's definitely one of the best characters in the entire book series and it's beautiful. It really is my favorite out of all 10 of the character ones. And that's it, we have seen all 10 of the brand new Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald ones. And I would love to hear your thoughts. Let me know down below, what was your favorite wand? Mine, as I've previously said, is the Albus Dumbledore wand. I think it's beautiful. I love it so much. So yeah, now I know a lot of you guys are gonna be asking me where did you get that Newt Scamander suitcase from, Cherry? <laughs> yeah, I will be talking about this in a later video, but I will also leave links down below. This is actually by a company called Cine Replicas, and it is a full-sized working suitcase, and there you go, it opens up like so. And there you go, it's also got a secret compartment, which I will show you another time, but it's absolutely stunning. It is not cheap, but it's beautiful, and I'm so pleased there are only 5,000 of these in the world, and I have one. So yeah, definitely go check out Cine Replicas down below, and check out all of the Noble Collection ones. Each one of them will be linked in the description for you to check out, or if there's one that really grabs your eye, you can get one of those for yourself. Whoa, sorry for interrupting. This is Editing Cherry. I did realize when editing this video, I did not give you the giveaway information for the Nicolas Flamel wand, so just pause your screen right now, have a look, Look, this is how to enter the giveaway and I will be picking one person at random very soon. Good luck. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do hope that you enjoyed this video. Uh, a lot of this stuff just brings me so much joy. I am a big collector, especially when it comes to wands. There are so many wands out there now. I don't think I'll ever have them all. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed it. And I guess I will see you in my next video. I need to find somewhere to display all of these ones now because I don't have any room on my shelves. I'm gonna have to make space, aren't I? Thanks for watching guys and I will see you next time. Bye!